<laughs> Boom, bitches. Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We have got something here from Woodland Farms Brewery. This is their Green Ghost Sour Ale with Woodruff. It's 4.9% ABV. Now, we were talking about this artwork at work the other day, and it's reminiscent of like a Scooby-Doo cartoon. Other people think they've seen it somewhere else before, at least something with a similar style. So hit us up down in the comments, the email link down there. Let me know what you think of that artwork. Um, thanks, Bill G, for hooking me up. You posted a picture of this in a, one of the drinking groups that we're members of. And um, I was like, wow, that's an interesting beer. Sounds good. And you managed to get uh, Stompers over in Holden to carry it. Is that where you picked it up? Okay, I think that's where you picked it up in the first place. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so now they have it there. Now Woodland Farms is in Kittery, Maine. It's a local Maine beer. Um, but yeah, thanks for hooking us up, getting them to carry the beer and grabbing a, a few four packs so that you can bring them home to the folks at work. Uh, yeah. Decently priced, actually. A lot of local brews have gotten up to like 17, 18 bucks for a four pack of 16 ounce cans. And this was only like uh, 13, 14, 14 and change, I think. Anyway, um, thanks, Bill G, for hooking us up. It says here this is an American take on a German tradition flavored Berliner Weiss. Lightly tart with a floral aroma and flavor from authentic German Woodruff syrup. The perfect companion to a warm summer's day. Well, I don't know what the hell Woodruff syrup is, but I'll tell you this. Uh, warm summer's day, we are getting into some of the colder weather here in Maine. Colder. Cooler. It ain't fucking winter yet. Cold is reserved for winter. Uh, we're getting into some, some of the cooler weather. It's like 76 degrees in here right now, which you can probably hear the crickets and the peepers, tree frog, going. Because I've got the doors open with the screens just to get some airflow in here. But like I said, it's still at 76 right here where the thermostat is. Um, other rooms in the house are probably a little warmer. But so we're, we're getting into the cooler days of the end of summer. It's, it's the end of September. The end of August right now. We're not quite into September. I promise I have not had that many beers yet. I've had a couple. But not enough to be stumbling that badly over my words and phrases and Thoughts. But anyway, I'm starting to digress. <clears throat> it says it's a perfect hot summer day. We are getting into the cooler days of summer, but uh, warm. It doesn't say hot. It says warm. All right. Stuff about that. Tried to set the fucking scene and I went a little too far here. We're going to crack this beer open and we're going to check this out. Now, first thing we're going to see is... One of the first things that drew me to this beer and had my interest immediately, and that is the fucking color. Look at that. I mean, obviously, that's where the beer gets its name. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, with the light on it, it even takes on a bit of a neon hue up top there. I'm just going to take the light off for a second. Now that's got a really interesting light ghostly lime green color, but then when I put the light on it, up towards the top there, it actually takes on a little bit of a neon hue. It's very effervescent. It doesn't have much of a head on it, but look at all them bubbles coming up from, from down below. You can see down here in the lower hazy, hazier part of the brew, um, there's a lot of bubbles there. But it is definitely hazy, and it's got that lovely green color to it. Um, they say it's a sour. I'm definitely sure it's going to have some sour flavor to it. But again, I'm, I'm interested in this Woodruff syrup. I have no idea what Woodruff syrup is, and it says here that it's got a floral aroma. But that color, that color alone, had me interested in this beer, which is one of the reasons I, you know, I was like, hey, man, where can we get it? Um, and Bill hooked us up. Pardon. But, looking at it under the light, it looks even better. I 
I don't know what to think of that in Rome. I'm definitely getting hints of sour. And a whiff of floral. But the way the floral and the sour are combining, it's... I hate to say this, because it's a, it sounds and, and a little off-putting, but there's like this slight, very, very slight hint of decay. Just a little, very, very, very little. Maybe I, what I'm picking up on is some sulfurous aroma or something like that, or maybe even uh, a methane. But, eh, there's not going to be any methane in here, but maybe, maybe just a slight sulfurous aroma. It's, it's not unpleasant though. It's, it's intriguing if anything. But I'm definitely getting sour and floral. But that that weird, weird aroma that 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 I should find off-putting, but I'm actually finding interesting. There's something, it's messing with me. The color's messing with me because I'm entranced by the color. Now this odd underlying aroma is messing with me. Flavor's messing with me a little bit too. It's got a nice um, medium light mouthfeel. It's definitely smooth. It's got some crispness to it. It's very cool. Now I've had, like I said, a couple of other beers tonight and they were in the fridge just as long as this, but this actually feels cooler. So it's, it's got that cool, crisp, and refreshing flavor to it. Like they said, on a warm summer's day, yeah, absolutely. Um, not much graininess to it. All right, one battery swap later. Um, yeah, there's not much graininess to this beer, but it's definitely got a sour character. But, but the sourness is complemented by that, that floral flavor that they mentioned on the label, but it's, it's a very strong floral. It's, it's almost as strong as the sourness itself, and the two are mixing together, and they are producing this, this odd aftertaste that I really can't, it's familiar, but I can't put my finger on why or what I can compare it to. And the aroma is taking on this, this odd, this, there's an odd smell to it too now. Now that I've got some of it on my palate, and this happens with some beers, sometimes when you get the pet beer on your palate, the aroma opens up and starts to, to produce different scents. There is something so familiar and yet new and different about it at the same time. I don't know what the fuck it is, and it's messing with me. It's not weed, but let's be perfectly honest about that, because the last time this happened was with New Belgium's Hemperer, and it turns out what I was smelling and tasting was weed. It's not, this is, it's not weed. It's something different. It's, like I said, something so familiar. It it almost has there's something woody, some aromatic wood. I don't know. Uh, I need to look up Woodruff and find out what the hell Woodruff syrup is and what the source of it is. I mean, it's good. It is very good. Overall, the different combination of the sour flavors and the floral are playing off of each other. And whatever the hell this reminds me of that I can't put my finger on is really messing with my head. But you wouldn't think sour and floral together would work, but they do. And they 
do so magnificently. And maybe not with every beer that, that you combine them in, but this particular one There is something weird going on with this beer. This beer is fucking with me on every single level. And I love it for that. I mean, the color, the aroma, the flavor, it's all just... It's different. It's interesting. It's pleasant. I like it. I love it. It's confusing the shit out of me and that's where the love is coming from uh, there's so much going on with this beer all at the same time like I said it, it's familiar yet new and different now, I know I mentioned before that that slight hint of decay in the aroma which would normally be an off-putting thing but in this particular case it's so interesting that it's got my attention and I can't I can't necessarily say it. it is it is the smell of decay but there is it's the closest equivalent that I can come up with I, I know I know what the smell is and it's not like you know rotting flesh or rotting vegetation but it, that is the closest equivalent I have in in my memory but there is something different about it And then that flavor there. Again, the sourness is there. Uh, it, it It's tending more towards lime for me, which uh, maybe the color's influencing that. But it's like a lime sourness. That weird floral bitterness. Like a, a woodsy, a pulpy, woodsy flavor. Maybe that's a, what I'm smelling. Is the woodsy, pulpy flavor is somehow crossing the barrier in my brain and making me think of decay, I, I don't know, like when you turn over a log that's been sitting too long, I, uh, maybe, I, again, it's, 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 this beer is fucking with me, I like it, I love the color, I love the smell of it, I love the taste of it, but it is really messing with my head at the same time. I gotta go with a full on five out of five for this beer. I It's delicious. And I'm confused as to why. And that just makes me like it even more. Yeah. I think I've run out of things to say about it. At this point, I'll, I'll start repeating myself like I haven't already. Um, but, yeah. Green Ghost from Woodland Farms Brewery. Um, full on 5 out of 5 for me. Hit me up down in the comments. The email link down there. Uh, love to hear what you have to say about this beer. Uh, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Ooh, pardon. I mean, share your thoughts on the artwork on the can. Something, something vaguely familiar about that as well. Like somebody said, Scooby Doo cartoon. Somebody else said they thought they saw something like it in a in a heavy metal video, music video. But there, there's something else going on there too that's messing with me. I don't know, and I can't place it either. But. Anyway, like I said, I've, I've said enough. Like and share the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, click the bell up in the corner there to turn on your notifications so that you get one whenever I post a new video. Wednesdays are usually local brews, Fridays for more widely released stuff, but not always. Um, make sure to hit me up as the Mighty Plantain on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and uh, untapped as well. Looking forward to hearing from you guys through social media.
until next time. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again, Bill, for getting this beer in stock and, and letting me know and, and picking one up for me to save me the 45-minute trip out there. Really appreciate that. Cheers, folks. See, I was trying to time that to the end of the beer because this is going down fast because it's so damn good and interesting and delicious, but, you know, I'm not going to guzzle it. I'm not going to force that transition. I'm savoring this bitch.